What is going on guys? It is Michael back here again in the GPRisers.com mining bunker. And in today's video, I kind of just wanted to go over um, some updates on our 3090 rig. Now, if you saw the thumbnail uh, in the video, then you did see our brand new uh, 20 watt dissipation thermal pads. Now we have them in three millimeter and we have them in two millimeter for now. Uh, we did that because they are the most uh, popular amongst the different brands of cards out there. And we will be adding 2.5 and also 1.75 uh, sometime soon. But I know I was talking about repadding uh, the 3090s for quite some time. Um, but I wanted to wait until we had these in. Uh, we have been doing a lot of testing on these over the past month. And so the test results have been very promising. Uh, we did repad a couple 3070 Ti's. Of course, they um, are the Zotac ones uh, right here, these hollow amp additions. Uh, we saw almost, I think, a 16 uh, Celsius difference on the memory on those cards. The reality is, is these Zotac cards are very bad. That's why they are thermal throttling. That's why we have had um, pretty much only thermal throttling issues with the 3090s um, from the Zotacs. Uh, those are the Trinity models. Over here on our second 3090 rig, uh, we do have, I believe, yes, uh, three of the Trinities up there. And then we have uh, three Asus Tufts, actually just two Asus Tufts, and this I believe is a uh, Gigabyte Eagle. So on the uh, first rig that we had over there, we did use our two millimeter uh, thermal pads on four of these so far. It does take quite a while to repad these. Um, it probably, I, I mean, after you get the hang of it, probably about 30 minutes per. You wanna make sure to clean the old pad, uh, you know, uh, residue off. Uh, measure it out and cut from the new pads. And if you can see here, uh, it's this one and this one that do not have the new pads on them. If you could see white right there uh, behind the grill, that is our new 20 watt dissipation thermal pads. And we have it on uh, the bottom three here and the top one right there. And we do need to get these. These two, however, are not thermal throttling at the moment. So, um, I mean, they're right on the edge of it. So we do need to get those pads swapped out. And on our website, we will have a chart that uh, goes into detail on you know, every model graphics card uh, so far that we know uh, the uh, thickness of the thermal pads that you need. Now on the Zotac 3090 Trinity editions, um, they were two millimeter on the front uh, where the chip is and on the back uh, we're also two millimeter. However, uh, for an example, with this 3070 Ti, these two Zotac hollow amps, it was two millimeter on the front, and then on the back plate, um, it was three millimeter. So we actually have uh, some people out uh, testing these for us right now. Uh, we sent some samples out, um, and they are going to get more results back to us. We did not want to launch these and uh, put them up for sale until we had some concrete numbers on these. So after getting um, some results in and having tested these for, I wanna say a couple weeks now, uh, we are very happy with them. Now, a majority of these uh, that you see on Amazon and um, other places like that, um, the, the best ones that you can really get are around 15 watts uh, dissipation. Um, and to get above that, you have to get into medical grade um, thermal pad. So we didn't wanna just release another 15 watt one. I mean, 15 watt ones are great, uh, but we wanted to make sure uh, when we released it, it was you know top notch quality. And so that is exactly what we did. And we are again, very happy with the results on these. Um, the 3090s, uh, th there's not so much that you could do on these. I don't know why the back plate isn't three millimeter. Um, these are just horrible coolers on Zotax part. Uh, but I am glad that we're no longer thermal throttling on these. And I believe we saw about a 10 degree Celsius difference. Um, all of the tests were done on the test bench um, in our office with an ambient temperature of 75 degrees. In here, however, in the GP Risers Money Bunker, it is about 80 Fahrenheit um, at any given time. But like I said, we are still not experiencing any thermal throttling issues and we are very happy with that. So I did open this one here for you guys. Um, this is what comes inside of the package. It is a 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter square. Uh, many of the other ones that you do find um, are often cut in half. I always thought that that was kind of um, annoying, but I understand for shipping reasons, it's a little easier. These are pretty big um, to hold in your hand. 
But um, you know, when you're doing measurements and cutting off uh, little pieces for the other thermal pads that you're taking off, I find it much easier when you have you know one solid square. And we decided, of course, to go uh, with white. So that is what um, comes in these. Um, I'm sure many of you guys watching these are familiar with thermal pads and replacing thermal pads and things of that nature. Uh, but we are going to be doing a you know teardown video. I think on one of these others, I, I gotta do these two still, so I'm probably gonna do it on one of these, uh, you know, do a full breakdown and how to replace it, how I personally, you know, measure out the old pads uh, to replace them with new ones, and kind of give my opinions uh, and some tips on how to do that. Um, I, like I said, I did do these four, and I did some 3080s about a year ago, um, so I'm, I'm pretty familiar with it at this point. And I am starting to get some thermal throttling issues on some 3070Ti's. Uh, luckily, these are kind of fine right now. Sometimes um, one of them will kind of dip a little bit, but um, for now, this is fine. So on the back of our thermal pads, you can see a couple different things about them. Um, also a QR code for our website. But other than that, like I said, we are very happy with these. Uh, it is quite a process to replace these pads on cards, um, but you know, just real quick with how prices have been in the crypto markets, profitability is down. Um, I know in a lot of my other videos, I'll kind of say, you know, especially with these uh, 6600 XTs, it's like, you know, you have one issue and it's kind of just like, screw it, I'm gonna wait and, um, you know, mess with efficiency later. And so during times like this where profitability is low, this is the time to start messing around with um, that efficiency. And so when you have some 3090s that are dipping to around sometimes 100 mega hash, I mean, that's 20 mega hash that you're losing with the same wattage. Um, the, the first thing you should be doing is replacing the pads on those high end cards. Um, you know, when you have these uh, 6600 XTs that are having issues, um, you know, you don't need to repad these cards or anything. But like I said, again, this is the time uh, to sit down with uh, each rig and see where you can, you know, push out a little more efficiency. And I'll do a video covering efficiency and, you know, just kind of overall um, the, the bear market that everyone's saying that we're entering. I did get into mining when Ethereum was around $60. And so during, you know, those years with very low profitability, um, I got really good at fine tuning and, you know, making sure to push out the best efficiency possible because the margins were so thin with electricity. But I'll do that all in a video shortly. Um, I just wanted to give you guys an update on the 3090 rig and also uh, introduce you guys to our new products. But other than that, guys, I hope everyone watching this has a great rest of their day and we'll see you guys next time.